Hello, and welcome to another episode of Colgart's Miniatures. Today I'll be showing you how I made these wrecked ships for black seas, shorelines and sandbanks, as well as some rocks. I'll be using the cardboard cutouts that came with the Master and Commander sets to make an accurate representation of those pieces. I'll also be using foam core for the base, some cork to represent the rocks. I also had a broken brick, unfortunately. But these will be used for a wreck. To begin, I make an outline of the different objects that came with the Master and Commander set, just to create an accurate representation of these pieces. Go around the edges a couple times lightly, just so it makes it easier to cut the foam core. With the mould cut out, remove one side of the paper, as the other side will leave it nice and flat on your table. Also bevel the edges of these pieces to make it look like it's really part of your table. With all these beveled edges and little marks here and there, it creates a really nice water effect that will be painted on later in the video. And onto the rocks. Now I have a large selection of these corks from many bottles of wine. Um, just use a knife and your fingers to pick at it and it will create a nice natural texture. With that all done and textured up, just go ahead and get some little rocks out and glue them onto your little pieces of foam core. Once you're happy with your boulders and things, get some PVA glue, basin glue, or you can carry on with your super glue. Um, spread it around a little bit, especially in between the boulder and the foam core, to blend in the two layers together. Put some larger boulders in as well to make it a bit more interesting and then sprinkle on some sand. And now onto the shipwrecks. I just trace out a rough size of a brig, because um, these can be used as markers as well for shipwrecks whenever your ship 
unfortunately gets destroyed. But same as before, trace out the shape, cut it out with your knife, and tear off that piece of paper. So to make sure the boat looks as though it is sinking, um, just cut out a little groove in the foam core and glue it in place. We'll be doing the same process as before, super gluing small little bits of boulder and then gluing down some more sand. Once they're all dry, give it a nice base coat of black, but if you want some lighter shades of sand, paint it grey. The majority of paints I have are from Games Workshop, but I do have a couple of the Vallejo paints as well. Start with the Vallejo Panzer Aces for any bits of sand. Um, I carefully mix a little bit of water and paint and just dab it into where you want the sand to be. After that's done, I paint all the rocks, well the big boulders and things, a uh, shade of dark blue. Um, this will really add depth to your rocks, as we want to do a more of an overbrush.
And then with your green, just paint little undersides of the rocks or bits of the ship, depending how sort of long you want them to look like they've been there for. And as well, we can cover that with a bit of green flock later. You can also go around some parts of the water, just adding more depth to the piece. And then it's just really to do little bits of highlighting here and there, just to bring out all those little edges and marks that you've made earlier. Whilst painting the water around the rocks and things, I do a nice light blue sort of covering on the edge of the pieces there, and as well all the high bits of edges which you have on the little pieces. And with lighter and lighter shades of blue, focus on areas which are close to your rocks. This will give the effect of splashing water.
I use Korax White, which is just a slightly greyer colour of white, just to paint all the little waves and things. Focus on the high areas, and again, all those little bits that are close to the boulders and to the ship. Whilst painting the white bits for the waves and such, the sand that we've glued down actually creates the splashing effect even further. So it works in both ways of creating the actual sand on the beach or near the rock, as well as splashing waves. And to finish off all these little pieces, just keep highlighting here and there. You can go as light as you want or as dark as you want. Apply a little bit of wash to really emphasize all those bits of shading. And I finish off by just painting the ships.
And with that, we are finished. Some very cheap and relatively cool looking pieces of terrain. Again, we can use these wrecked ships as markers for your unfortunately destroyed ships. And as well, these boulders work very well in recreating those little cardboard cutouts that we had before. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please like, comment and subscribe. And please put in your suggestions of what you would like to see next. Everything I've made is done with what I have on hand, and as you've seen, with relatively cheap materials. Apart from the paint, but you can always just use cheap acrylic paint you find at the shop. But once again, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.